Hi, boys and girls. This is going to be our, our next project. A lot of you said that you wanted to learn how to draw some different animals and an owl is on the request. So we are going to learn how to draw an owl this way. If you have different ideas of um, different things that you want to add to it, please feel free to do so. But we're all going to learn some of the basic um, lines and shapes and concepts of how we're going to draw this. I've always emphasized with all of you how important it is to know how to draw different kinds of lines and be really good at drawing shapes so you can put them all together to um, become really good drawers and draw more complicated things. So we are going to kind of break this down into simple lines and shapes um, so that when you are drawing you can feel confident and you are just going to be practicing today. So you're going to be able to do this on your whiteboard if you would like to use your whiteboard for practice. I'm going to be using the Sketches School app. Um, it might be a good thing for you to try if you haven't done it yet, just to see what it's like. And um, you can always just undo things with a little simple tap if you mess things up. So that's really nice about that too. So go ahead and grab your whiteboard or get Sketches School ready to go and follow along. And you can always pause if you need to. I am in Sketches School and I'm just going to pick um, the felt tip marker to draw with and I'm going to use um, a black line and I'm just going to test out to see what size it is. So that will work. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about the shapes of the owl. This owl is kind of very boxy and square. So the first shape that I'm actually going to draw is a large rectangle. So filling your frame, I'm going to draw a large rectangle. Make sure you leave a little bit of space around the tops, bottoms, and edges because we will be adding things to those. Um, the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a large V from the top corner on the left to the top corner on the right. And that's going to help me determine where my eyes go. And the eyes are quite large, and they're going to fit between that V and then the side of my large rectangle. And again, this is practice. So if you don't like the way that things are going, that's okay because you can undo it or erase it and try again. Uh, the next thing, let's go ahead and put the ears in. So they're just kind of two ovals or loop-de-loops at the top. And let's put the wings in. So the wings are going to start right next to the eyes and they are kind of oval shapes um, with pointy ends. So starting right by the eyes and now I'm going to cover up part of the box. So I will be erasing that rectangle later. So once we start our final drawing with pencil, it'll be important to not press too hard when we draw because there will be a lot of things that we are erasing. All right, let's add the little feet in here since we're here, and I'm just gonna do three little ovals next to each other. Actually, I don't like those, let's try again. So here we go, nice and closed, and then now I can kind of do like a backward C shape. So we've got two little feet. All right, so there we go. Um, let's go ahead and put in the beak. So the beak is kind of a diamond shape and I'm going to use the bottom of the V to help me decide where to put that. So like the letter A but really wide and then like the letter B really tall. And then we can start adding some more details. Um, you can put your pupils in. And then if you want to style this in a different way so that you know it's more anime style or whatever you want. You don't have to color anything in at this point. You can just kind of think about um, the shapes of, it, of everything most of all. Some other things that we're going to put in are feathers. So I'm going to grab my eraser and erase this line so that I can put my feathers in without that line being distracting. and grab my marker again. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of repeat the same shape of the wing, but in a much smaller version. And then they're gonna constantly um, overlap and repeat. 
So kind of like that. And then part of it you might not draw because it's being, it's overlapping the other one. And then you could do as many of those as you wanted as you fill up the wing with the feathers. This is a great way to add texture when you repeat a line or a pattern to show, to show that. I did a couple other little details. Um, let's go back to my eraser and I'm gonna erase this line here so that I can put more of a zigzag line right there to show feathers adhere as well. So it's not like a big, huge zigzag line, but it's just kind of a little subtle one to show the feathers. And then everything else is pretty much just about texture. So I did a couple more curves in here, and then I did some semicircles, again, to kind of show maybe where feathers might be coming out of by the eyes. Um, if you wanted to put some eyebrows in there, you could use some diagonals to create eyebrows for texture. You can kind of see that that makes it look a little bit mean, so that's something you should be thinking about. And then um, I just put a bunch of different types of lines throughout this to show texture and just add interest. So in the top where the first V is, I just did like a kind of a scribbly line. And then once I added color, kind of filled it in with different colors. And then by the tummy, I did a big and then you can begin thinking about what's in your background. So I put a little branch underneath mine. Just with long horizontal lines. Maybe a couple leaves popping out. Again, you're kind of repeating that same shape as your your wings. So repetition also helps to create some harmony and unity in your drawing. So that's our practice portion. If you want to keep practicing that a little bit, go for it. Again, if you're on a whiteboard, just erase and redo as much as you want. If you're working on Sketch of School, same thing. You can just undo it, redo it. You could try using different colors to see what you get. Um, you can, you know, fill up the background with color as well. So Go ahead and get your practice in and then next time we will begin our final drawing if you haven't already and then start thinking about colors. Have fun!